can blame the past council if he wants for all of the errors that have been made in this trial. He now has to take responsibility, and the responsibility that we want him to take is we'd like him to call an emergency council meeting. Stop the cutting now, call an emergency council meeting, bring all of the parties together to develop the people from the neighborhood here, and welcome uh, your stations that uh, desire and need consultation on this issue. Bring all of those people together in a council meeting, put it on, on cable television so that all of the population can see the debate, and then the councilors and the mayor make a final decision. That's what we'd like to see. Because we think once it's aired out in public, so that the whole public can see what's going on, then the councilors will make wise and just decisions. Do you think it's too late to make decisions in reverse? Because the debate, this whole thing is, is evolved over a long period of time, and there's been errors made. There's been errors made in, in uh, recognition of policy. For instance, this 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 land is supposed to be an ANSI. It's it's on the the, uh, the schedule for becoming an ANSI, which means it wouldn't be cut at all. It wouldn't be developed at all. And uh, it also has has a watershed problem where. This area has two watersheds, and there's a floodplain uh, report that's, that, that has a lot of errors in it. That needs to come out. But all of this has to come out in an open public meeting, once and for all, get it taken care of in, in front of the public so everyone can see, and then the councils can make a decision, and that everybody knows why they made that decision. Why do you, what do you think of the silence of the mayor right now? There's nothing in it. I think the mayor doesn't know what to do. This is a problem that he inherited from an old council, from the past mayor. And so he's stuck. He doesn't, and, and frankly, the mayor doesn't know how to deal with, with indigenous issues, Aboriginal issues. And, and this is a learning process. What we want is reconciliation. We want reconciliation with, with, uh, with our fellow Canadians. And part of that is respecting our land and us respecting a process. But in order to respect that process, it has to be open and honest. It can't be held be behind closed doors anymore. Would you say there's no process because there's been, the, you know, the, the rockiest military base uh, development, uh, you had the land, the, the, the hill land in over Victoria Island, now here, uh, I mean, it seems to be uh, a pattern, right? It, it's a pattern since Philemon Wright arrived. Since Philemon Wright came and said that he would he would become a brother chief with the Algonquins and abide by Algonquin law in this valley. Uh, and he, he created a mill and it destroyed the, the, the forest of the entire watershed. And, and this city has become rich on the forest. It became rich on the, on the resources uh, and land sales of the Ottawa Valley. And that was our land. That was our home. Uh, and that's our contribution. Now it's time to be just with us. saying that this is sacred. It's there, it's very sacred. We've never stopped to tell the, the, everybody that this sacred, this sacred forest needs to be 
equipment destroyed. We had uh, an archaeologist coming to see us and uh, trying to explain what what he did there, the kind of archaeology he did there. And he came to us. And we were surprised about that. Um, there's there's very very high level archaeologist Dr. McGee that really contradicted the report of former archaeologist here. And uh, his letter dated uh, August 6, 2010, that said that archaeological research needs to be completely redone properly because whoever did the uh, archaeology there, their report was fatally flawed. The city has not discovered, has not uh, made this to the public. There's a lot of things internally, there's a lot of breaking of, of laws by the city itself and uh, common sense, just plain common sense. don't have to be an Aboriginal to have common sense. But what's happening behind us? That's not common sense. That's full-out destruction and a full-out slap in the face of the Algonquin nation and uh, it doesn't feel good. Is the end of the process? Is the protest over? Are, are you finished? Are you going back or are you staying? Yeah. Right now, we're at, uh, right as of now. Did they threaten you with trespassing or something? Oh, of course. They read us the law. And they said that uh, they only will uh, obey the, uh, the British law. So the law of the ground. Where in Canada, the, the law is made up of three things. Did they say they would charge you for trespassing? If you they did say they would charge us for trespassing. We also know that there's a, a, a large uh, gathering of name were Amikwabi and Amikwabi means the beaver people and this is the beaver pond there that's why it's also very dear to me. Um, I live in Toronto right now uh, you know I'm a citizen I work hard and uh, but uh, this is a sacred place yeah. for us and uh, it uh, Do you plan on coming back here? Yeah, I don't know how to get here. We will see what's going to happen. Uh, we're not planning as of now to come come back. Yeah. Uh, if you say you came here we were in the park. And then uh, uh, turn right on Canada yeah. Avenue. And then turn right as soon as you hit the hall. Sorry, don't wait for the time. But when did you show up? To the top oh, of the hill. Or. So at about 17. We were a little bit worried that the trees would fall on us because the man in the machine saw that we were there. It stopped. So you didn't have any confrontations with the company? No confrontations with the company. Did you physically you chain yourself to a tree? Yeah. Yep. We use a bicycle cable, uh, the whatever you tie a bicycle with, but, and we chain ourselves to the tree. Um, we say something. There's those who talk and those who We need a lot more people to do this. This is this is very serious. The uh, unfortunately. Respect to the Algonquin people as well. It's, 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 a, it's a good day for us, but it's also a sad day. It just reminds us that uh, under this regime, Algonquin people or other First Nations, even though we were there before, it doesn't count. Monsieur Bernard, quelques mots français, s'il vous plaît. Là, pourquoi vous avez fait ça? Pourquoi c'est quand même extrême là, euh, dans votre volonté de stopper le projet? Qu'est-ce qui, qu qui vous amène à faire ça? Ce qui nous amène avec ça, c'est notre, euh, 